Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my character and I have the name Corey. Finally got it. Um, it's not, it's not the actual way you spell it. That account is still taken by level 13 uh, that hasn't played in probably over a year or two. But uh, if I type in chat, you can see... If you, you can see that it's K0REY. Which, it looks the exact same on my, uh, on screen, but in the chat you can tell it's not actually Corey, but that's my real name in Adventure Quest Worlds, R.I.P. Sway K-Dog. Let's get into the video. <laughs> on the channel, we currently have a giveaway going on from this video until TLAPD. All you have to do is be uh, subscribed, leave a like, and comment down below. That's all you have to do. I'll be picking one comment from this video until TLAPD. So you have one chance to enter on each video. Do not spam comments. I'll see you guys in the video. Our number three pick for classes is going to be Scarlet Sorceress. A very good farming class. I'll show you how good it is in a moment. But first, you need to know how to get it. So to get the class, it's a free AC class, so anyone can get it, it's free, and it's a coin item, which means you can store it in your bank for free. So, uh, if the event isn't currently active, you're going to have to go to World Map, and go to Throne of Darkness. Once you're at Throne of Darkness, just click on Tower of Mirrors and go there. So this will bring you to a White Blood Rut. Uh, what you want to do is do the guy's quest here, I've already completed them. Uh, if you don't want to do this quest and there's people here, you can go do the person if they're at the boss. So that isn't blocked off, so you can do that if you want to go to. But if there's no one here, you're going to have to play through the quest. And then once you're done the quest, just run to the very last room here. And this boss will drop the class. One of the very rare occurrences of a boss dropping a class. It's a very good class. I'll show you uh, how good it is right now. All right, here we are at the pirates. Very, very easy mobs to fight. Uh, they're a medium level mob. So your fifth skill will stack and then you can deal more damage with each stack. This isn't a class guide. You can look at a class guide if you want to. I would recommend Alex's class guide. Although I do have my own class guides, but my class guides aren't that good. So once you stack up, you can just hit multi-target and it hits up to three targets at the same time. So making it very good for farming. Uh, your fifth skill does take away 10% of your health, so at 5 stacks, which is the cap for stacks, uh, you're, you will be dealing, taking away, uh, 50 damage, or, no, not 50 damage, 50% of your damage, so, uh, it's kind of a give and take class, you will die often if you're using a stable, so I'd recommend stable weapons with this class to keep you alive more often, and it does have a heal on the auto attack, which is a very interesting class, so that is definitely my pick. For number three let's move on to the next one I uh, number two pick for farming classes by the way on the last uh, class scarlet sorceress you're gonna want to enhance that with either full whiz or whiz with one luck so that's your enhancements for that uh, for this class shaman you're gonna want to probably go full whiz that's probably your best bet maybe a little luck in there but whiz is good for these farming classes as you will see so this class is very interesting the class design actually is fully color customizable which is very interesting so you can change the color of the rocks the text and the garment you just can't change the uh, arm uh the shoulder pad or whatever that is the armor so you can get some cool color combinations out of this which is interesting so if you want to color custom armor uh you can earn this class i'll show you how to get the class right now to get the class you're just going to want to go to your world map and go to arc and groove go to the main area and go there. So this class is gonna be a lot easier than the last class I'm gonna recommend, but a lot harder than the first class. So just click on this guy, go to shop, and look at its armors. Here you can either buy the Evolved Shaman for 2K ACs. Evolved Shaman is actually a support class. Shaman is a different class, which is a uh, damage dealing class. So it's 50K gold or rank 10. You need to be rank 10 in this area. So to get rank 10, basically, you just take the rep class, um, the rep quest, 
and you do the story in this area. So just do the story first in Ark and Grove, and then do the dailies and the different reputation quests that are littered around this area, and that will get you the class. Okay, so here's how the class works. So this skill will buff this skill, and then these two skills you just use when you're farming. So when you're farming, you only want to hit your two and your three skills. I've been told this many times by my chat. So you just hit your two and your three skills. You'll do a great amount of damage to two targets. So you're not doing three targets like Scarlet Sorceress, but you're doing two targets and you're doing a lot of damage to both at the same time. So it's a very good class for farming, uh, but you won't be hitting those three targets. So if you're in a full room of people, the Scarlet Sorceress class is probably better at farming, but if you need to do more damage at uh, more targets so see I auto attack this guy and I hit those two guys at the same time which was actually a good thing so this class will do a bit more consistent damage than Scarlet Sorceress but uh, it can only hit two targets at once so let's move on to our next class all right number one we have Blaze Binder one of my favorite classes one of the best farming classes in the game and also one of the hardest classes in the game to get. I'll show you how to get it right now. So what you want to do is slash join fire forge like that. So let's join this map. Talk to this gentleman. Click on blaze binder class. Go to the rep shop. Uh, it's right there in the rep shop. You need the darkness sigil and the flame sigil. I have of course already merged the class. So it will not let me open uh, this one menu right here that you need to open. I want to click on it, nothing happens. It says uh, you don't have the required items. That's probably because I don't have the required items. So the required items for these are the darkness sigil and the flame sigil. So to get those, you need pyromancer class. You need doom wood rank 10 and you need ember c rank 10 ember c rank 10 of course the last one you need that's just the one you need to merge the class uh of course i got the class before you needed that uh, kind of a bug in the game so i don't even have ember c rank 10 right now but i think you need it now because they patched that so it's kind of a hard class to get because you need to get your pyromancer uh to rank 10 and you need to get your necromancer to rank 10 Actually, do you need? I think you just need Doomwood rank 10, which you, Doomwood rank 10 is how you get Necromancer. Uh, so I'm not gonna do show you how to get those two classes in this video because that would be forever. That'd be a long ass video. But you just do need those two classes. That's what makes this class the hardest to get out of any of them. Okay, so once you have the class, I'll show you how good it is. I have this full whiz at the moment, which is probably the best you can do for the class. It's very good with full whiz. And the class is very nice. So your three will buff all your other skills, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, so you just basically you spam your three, your two, and your five whenever you can. That's how I use the class. That's how I guess most people use the class. And as you can see, taking three targets is doing it a very, a very nicely, a very much damage, a lot of damage. Uh, let's do another wave, and then I'll go show you how good this class is in PvP. A very good reason to have the class also would be for PvP, of course. And this class has a very nice dot heal on itself, which will keep you alive a long time. So there we go. Uh, the, your average amount of damage will be 500, but you can do like 2k dots, which are pretty insane. Here's a cheeky little boss fight just to show you how good the class is. So you always want to use your 3 before your 5 on this class, and make sure you have it full whiz. So you're doing the most damage you can because it is a whiz based class. And as you can see, the health on the boss is already going down very, very fast. And there's no there's no way we would die to this boss fight. Uh, it's very good in team fights, especially if you have a stone crusher buffing you. Uh, with a stone crusher buffing a blaze binder, uh, the amount of damage you do in your dots and stuff is literally insane. So that is very nice. Let's go to some PvP. I'll show off that. Uh, this would be the only class I'm showing up for PvP. Uh, the Scarlet Sorceress class is not very good at PvP. Shaman is decent. Uh, not the best, of course. I think Blaze Binder is definitely the best of the three of these classes for PvP. Although this is a farming video. Uh, so, just picking classes on how good they are at farming. And I think, uh, I think Shaman and Blaze Binder are very good with Scarlet Sorcerer being a good alternative. But uh, with the amount of times you die with Scarlet Sorceress, uh, it kind of makes that class... 
a little unstable to use. So let's go to a PvP match with Blaze. I'm to show you the PvP potential for this class. Alright, here we are with our first fight. Let's go. Alright, hopefully I don't mess up. Hopefully I don't mess up. That would be embarrassing. Okay, gotta hit that three. Okay, we got the dot down. This guy's also a blaze binder, but can he use blaze binder as well as I can? Well, let's find out after the ad break now. Okay, we're out of mana at this point. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That was blaze binder versus blaze binder, which still shows off how good blaze binder is. Because I got my ass beat by a blaze binder. Alright, we have another fight. I like to include losses in my videos. I mean, I could just cherry pick and show you only wins. That wouldn't be fair. That would not be fair. All right, let's drop that heal. We have a Dragon Slayer General on us. Uh, we're not a dragon, so I don't know how well he's gonna fare. He did not fare very well. Uh, level 61 Dragon Slayer. Not level 65, but still he's up there in levels. So it's kind of a fair fight, I guess. Not really. But that's the video for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I put together my top three favorite farming classes. Tell me what your top three favorite farming classes are in the comment section. Maybe they're the same. Maybe they're not. Uh, thanks for all the likes on the video, guys. Remember, if you want to enter the giveaway, like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I'll be picking one winner off one video from the last video I uploaded, Tell TLAPD. So the 2,000 Arctic points will be given out to, on that day. And how I'm going to pick it is I'm going to pick one comment from each video that I upload. And then I'm going to put all those comments into a draw. So I'm going to get one comment from each video. One random comment from each video. And I'm going to put those comments into... And I'm going to take the comments. So it's like a tier system. So you enter a comment. You can get that comment picked. And then that goes up to the next tier. Once you're in that next tier, uh, out of those ones, we're going to pick a random one out of those ones from all the videos. And then that person wins. So that's how that's going to work. Hopefully, I probably explained that horribly wrong. So basically, I'm not going to keep explaining it. So you get the drift. Thanks for watching again. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.